He's back in this system and ready to go. Here's Josh Giddy comes in off his triple double at the garden and lays it up and in softly with a pretty left hand. All these parts are interchangeable. They're all about the same size and they play so hard and they play for one another, which is beautiful to watch. It's happened so organically for this team as Giddy. Beautiful job there by campaign finding Tobias Harris for the three. You saw him beat, maybe a little gassed. Didn't even bother to come down the floor in the transition. Giddy's going to fire again from deep, back rim. What a defensive help that time by Wiggins. Wiggins on the attack to the cup. Why Lays not? it up and in, doing it at both ends. Before they move on to Memphis and then San Antonio. Giddy outside to Dort. Curls to the rack, extends, and lays it up and in. But the one thing it does for the top six seeds in each conference is gives you a week off. For many teams, that's great. For a guy like Joel Embiid, who needs to play basketball. Half game lead over Denver, and a one game lead over Minnesota. Good interior defense with Embiid there, and the loose ball corralled by Payne. Chet Holmgren had eight of the first Thunder's 14 points, but hasn't scored since. Another block shot here to their offense. Can you believe this is only a four-point game? I yep. mean, you would think OKC is up double digits here. Holmgren, that's a three. 21 minutes now sitting on the bench. Here comes Giddy off balance. Giddy's been a little bit quiet tonight. Seven in the quarter. Up the floor comes Payne, weaves through. Boy, somehow got it to Martin, but then Giddy the strip. Will heave it. Oubre knifes into the paint. Little inadvertent contact. No whistle. Off the floor. This is Giddy. Leans in against Batum. Masterfully done on the break.